All right, what's up everybody? This is Wesley Wonders, and today I have traveled out to the middle of nowhere to find something I saw on the internet, which sounds really sketchy, but actually I'm not that far outside of Durham, North Carolina. I am on the Eno River, and I've come out here because I saw that there are ruins of an old water pump station built in the 1880s, just kind of left abandoned. Um, so I want to check it out. Um, there is a trail that leads down to the pump station where other people can kind of go and uh, see it themselves. Uh, so I'm not sure how far that trail goes back. So I'll try to catch some sights and sounds along the way. Um, it's not too far after Hurricane Florence, so I'm sure there's been some flooding and some things. So you might see some um, some remnants of that. And uh, one thing Hurricane Florence hasn't affected is the mosquitoes because damn, they are everywhere. I mean, I'm, I'm being eaten alive as we speak. So um, anyway, let's go check out the old Durham pump station. So here along the banks of the Eno River, you have the remnants of the old Durham water station or the Eno River pump station. And um, as I said before, this building supplied water to the city of Durham from the year 1887 all the way to 1927. And gentlemen from Boston came down here to help build this pump station when the uh, demand for water increased dramatically for the city of Durham. So they built this pump station and the citizens of the area never had a <laughs> um, fond uh, opinion of this place. Uh, it was it was not quite successful. It um, People consistently complained of water pressure. They uh, complained a lot of, about a lot of things, including the fact that at one point in time, there was a lot of fires in Durham and the pump station didn't perform well enough to get water to the city and the firefighters to help stop the fires, which obviously didn't go over well. So here's the inside of the main building and I will post some, some, some schematics and some pictures in the description so you can kind of see what this building looked like in the heyday, but um, we're definitely way past that. This building has definitely been sitting here for a really long time abandoned derelict but as far as ruins go quite pretty and uh, I gotta be really careful in here because I've already busted my ass a couple times and uh, a fall in here won't be as forgiving so if you're watching this mom I'm sorry So down here you could see some mechanisms for the old pump station. I guess that was like a wheel that they would turn to kind of get the water going. Let me get down here really carefully. And um, you can see a water bottle that somebody left there 100 years ago. 100 year old water bottle right down there. Oh, oh sorry, it's a brisk tea. Um, I don't know what that was, but uh, it looked important. It's a really cool place just to be out here in the middle of the woods all by itself. Let's go check out some of the other ruins because there's a building adjacent to this. It's much larger. Um, We can go check that out. So right here, you'll see in the uh, pictures in the description, there was a dam right here that connected. You can see the kind of remnants of it over there, some steel in the rock. Um, 
I guess that would back up the water and direct it into this this station here. And uh, this is a really cool old building. I kind of wish they would have done something with it. They could have made like a park ranger station or something. Um, but uh, by the looks of it, <laughs> they left this place in 1927, and that was it. <laughs> they they uh, they had no use for it after that. The city of Durham and its residents had had enough of the Eno River pump station. What I thought initially from a distance was a hard hat upon further inspection, it's a pretty good sized turtle shell. And the saddest thing about this turtle shell is it does not come equipped with a turtle. But here you can see the remnants of the foundation of what was the water pump building, I believe, water pump room. Either way, I believe in the, in the um, photos, this is the really long building that you see. And uh, certainly much bigger than the building we were just in, or what was left of it anyway. Um, see if we can get a closer look. Oh. You have no idea how many spider webs I've been walking through. And uh, I'm not a big fan of spiders, really not. In North Carolina this time of year, we get those giant riding spiders. I don't even think they're venomous. I don't even know if it hurts if they bite you, but I'm not taking a chance on it because they're, they're big. I don't imagine it would tickle. Um, what we got down here? We'll have to go get a better look at this. And that is your risky hole of the day. Hashtag risky hole of the day. All right, so here you can see the old water filtration room and uh, this is where they would store the water I believe it held six million gallons of water believe it or not and they would pump that to the residents of Durham and from what I've read somewhat ineffectively <laughs> um, let's see if we can meander over here I don't think I don't think those would feel very good so we're gonna we're gonna be real careful here That was um, among the more unintelligent things I've done today. This tree has decided to take root inside its own fortification. This is officially the safest tree in the forest. Huh, deeper than I thought. This is my favorite part of the ruins. This old wall by itself standing resolute, determined to stay strong. You can see, it looks like maybe somebody's been using this for target practice. Um, still going strong after almost 100 years. Now I'm not 100% sure what this was, but uh, further down from the uh, rest of the ruins, you have this. It looks like gates, maybe? Gates to a dam? I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably making an idiot of myself. But uh, 
kind of see it crosses the creek over there. This is kind of risky. And then you have this over here as well. A little closer. Wish it was some sort of signage to kind of explain what all this was. Oh, whoa. You can probably get a better look at the structures itself. That was an eventful shoot. I, um, I fell several times. I busted my ass, as I said. Um, I'm muddy, just there's mud and Carolina clay wedged in every nook and cranny of my body. I'm not gonna prove it to you. You don't want me to, uh, but just take my word for it. I'm covered in spider webs, mosquito bites. I've lost a lot of blood due to mosquitoes, I think. So <laughs> um, I'm definitely ready to get home, take a shower. Look, see, see, you see? Did you see that? They're everywhere. Anyway, I'm ready to get home, take a shower, relax for a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said in the description, there's gonna be some links where you can see some pictures of the of the pump station at its heyday. Uh, you can also, uh, I'll, I'll link some other information, some websites where you can kind of read up on the Durham pump station if you're interested. So anyway, thanks for checking it out. A lot of cool stuff on the way, heading back home. Uh, to Statesville, North Carolina, my hometown, to check out some stuff. So anyway, this is Wesley Wonders, and I'm out.